Come on, Maya. Ready? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Load up. Come on. Good girl. Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Um, little snowstorm here in Southern Oklahoma, but you know what happens when the snow's on the ground. They love it. I don't, but they love it. Time for a herd check. Let's go feed the Big Joe herds some cubes. What are you doing, Hoss? Good chat. Birds are hanging out in here. <laughs> it's, it's too cold for this. Man, look at all that snow blew in. Dakota calves. Let's go check the water. See if it's frozen. Heck yeah, not frozen. Awesome. Whoo! This uh, I am so glad that I got that outlet taken care of and fixed. Mounted in there. Well, at least put in there. It's not mounted, but uh, the heater is working. This is so exciting. This is awesome. I don't have to come out here. Yes, I'm going to bust the ice just in case um, to do it. Uh, so the big herd out here, um, they've, uh, they've got the pond. It's frozen on the edge, but they all have this water now. And if once they know that it's not frozen, they can consistently come back to it. They'll come back to it. So this is very exciting that uh, this part of the farm worked. And the heater element, which you can see down there, is... A um, little dirty, but uh, it is actually still working. Not frozen. And we're at, currently, we're at 18 degrees. And these guys are fun. There's actually not that much snow out here. It's supposed to snow all day. Um, but what happened was, is uh, it rained a little bit. And then it sleeted for a long time and then it snowed overnight so uh, we may have an inch of snow maybe just a little bit more but now it's gonna snow all day I was driving on the road this morning it was just a solid sheet of ice and it, you know we may not get near as much snow as a lot of people in the north and whatnot uh, but the bad part about Oklahoma is the ice we have ice really bad here so um anyways i am uh the dakota pure herd is doing good we are uh i'm gonna actually hop in the truck and i'm gonna go to uh we're gonna take the big herd a sack of cubes and uh we gotta these guys it's crazy about bison they just love the cold weather they love the snow if you don't already know that and so uh well look at all the birds the birds are not loving the snow for sure but um bison love snow and it doesn't bother them at all they do not care so uh that's what we're gonna do is i'm going to um drive the truck out here and give them some cubes because it's a cube day i give them cubes every other day so we're gonna go out and check them and see how they're doing and see how excited they get so uh look at this tank this one is uh whew. i'm not even gonna mess with that we're just gonna leave it right there we'll check the one i set inside the barn yep not bad get a little bump see that's not terrible that's not terrible at all yeah that's not bad that's not bad at all you see they already busted it a little bit to get some water so that worked being inside the barn here where the birds are. 
This is funny. Uh, the, the, the birds appreciate the uh, the barn. They are hanging out here in our uh, where we're we're building uh, an office, basically, and uh, the birds are all hanging out inside the barn. And I came in the barn, and they just took off everywhere. This is funny. I've never seen them. Uh, you know, they've been in the barn a little bit, but not like this. They're all lined up over there. They're like, screw this. This is cold. And I know when it gets really cold down here in Oklahoma, uh, the birds aren't used to it being this cold. And so uh, they're all bundled up in here. So come on, birds. It's okay. You got to stay warm. You're more than welcome. Make yourself at home. Got our cubes. Ugh. All right. I think these guys want something. Snow day. This is like recess for them. Like a little kid on recess. They love the snow. But they love some cubes. So uh, today is cube day. Luckily for them, even though they're out here playing in the snow, they're going to get real excited because I got a sack of cubes for them. Give them, give them cubes every other day right now during the winter. And uh, these uh, snow-coated bison are... Uh, are gonna love when I'm gonna get them. Take a look at that. Big Joe and the Texas cows here. They're ready to go. Let's go give them some cubes.
check this pond. They're eating all the cubes now. I want to see how frozen this pond was. It's not too bad. I'm not going to walk out there. I know the pond is low as it is, but I'm, uh, I'm not going to walk out there though. Easy way to catch your bison there, they're all lined up. What's funny about these guys, whenever I put cubes out, it never changes. <laughs> You can put out so many cubes, they'll just continue to run down the line and push each other down the line. It's the funniest thing. And there's, there's feed sp spread out everywhere. I try to do it in clumps so they'll stop and eat for a while before they push each other down away. But um, I know I don't have a feed truck or a, a cake feeder, so we, uh, we just put it out the window and that's fine. It works. It covers, it, it does what we want to, so. Man, that was fun. I have to share this with you before. When I got over here, um, when they see my truck, they always, they know what they get. They get feed. They get excited and they come up to the fence, which they eventually did, but I was sneaky and I came over here and I filmed them uh, before I actually pulled up closer where they could see me. And uh, I wanna show that to you. It's just something about bison and cold weather and snow. Um, they love it. And uh, when I got the drone out there, it kind of fired them up a little bit. So um, I flew it and I've never seen Big Joe move like this. I've never seen him move like this. You got about a 1900 pound bull. Um, I think it's pretty big, decent sized bull for being in the South. Um, they do get a bit bigger than Big Joe. There are some big ones out there, but um, <laughs> damn, I've never seen Big Joe move like this. So hope you guys enjoy it just uh, just like I did while I was filming this. Take a look.
got the critters taken care of. She got all the bison taken care of. Ponderosa. Water checked. Didn't have to really bust any ice. They, uh, they know where that automatic water is that's heated. So thank gosh I got all that running installed. That is very handy. And I told you it would come in handy when we have storms like this. So that is actually really nice. Got cubes to these guys. I got hate to them uh, before, which you just previously saw in my other video. But these guys are set, ready to go, and uh, we'll come back and check on them later. And uh, it's supposed to snow all day. We'll see. It looks like it's lightened up some. But uh, these guys are tough, and I'm glad we have them. But Kevin's taking care of the animals over at the across town at the original place, Dunbar, and all them. And um, he uh, he sent me some video. I asked him how the uh, tire waters were doing um, that we installed last year. And I was really curious because this is the coldest snap we've had. And I was really wanting to see how they turned out um, uh, water-wise or frozen-wise to see if they're really frozen. Um, so I'm sure he had to bust ice a little bit on them. But um, remember, those aren't heated. Uh, they're just rubber tires, big old um, earth-moving tires. So anyways, let's check on those waters. Seventeen degrees. Little snow cover, no ice. Water. It's got a little. It's got a little ice on it. Mainly snow, but they did bust it through this morning. Well guys, I hope you I uh, hope you enjoyed the day. I hope you love seeing the footage of the bison in the snow. Whoa, look out. Why right, she's gonna get you? I better shut this gate before they close in on me. Come on, you better get over here. Come on. Come around. There you go. There's something about bison and snow and uh we don't get it that often, but we, when we do, we love it. And so get a lot of good photos. People are stopping by the place and taking pictures and whatnot. So you got to get it while you can here in, in southern Oklahoma when you got snow. Um, snow and bison just go together. And these guys have been handling this type of weather for hundreds of years. And that's why we still have them around. Uh, the survivor animal. Hey, thank you guys for watching us. Stay warm out there and stay safe.